Hello, good afternoon, everyone. So welcome to another episode of The Good Brain. So this is a lesson eight for 10 part video series on the Google Sheet tutorial. So today we are talking about App Script, specifically how to actually generate reports and do a simple text replacement so that you're able to, you know, systematically generate report for your customer, let's say. So this is a part two of App Script tutorial. So if you are already familiar with App Script, you can go ahead and watch the rest of the video. But if you don't really understand how App Script actually functions, I strongly recommend you to go to part to lesson seven, where we talk about the basics and introduction to App Script and how it does. So today we have a very simple goal. We want to generate report for four of the customer here using a template. So this will be very similar to what we do with the mail merge um, add-on in Microsoft Office. I'm not sure that add-on what, but what we do is that we have a sam sample template where we need to clone the template and do simple text replacement so that we have in the end a multiple file that we can send to multiple customers. So today we're just going to generate them individually in new Google documents and change the name, change the order number and change the quantity. So of course, first of all is to actually generate a report template. So I'm not going to bothered to create something very complicated. This is a very simple one. Uh, dear customer, thanks you for your order of, you know, what's the quantity and what's the order number. So I choose to use uh, two hashtag in front and behind of our, of the text to replace. It is not definitely that you have to use that, but I believe that it's a good way to indicate that these are the one that I want to change. And it's unlikely it's going to crash with any formatting or, you know, coincidentally, uh, something else that have similar format. So that's what I choose to do. So these are the, so you also need a standard uh, data table in your Google Sheets for it to work. So in this case, I create here, which is A16 to uh, C20. So this is the source table that we need to run our app script later. So then we need to go into, of course, go into our script and try to do the duplication and the text replacement. So in this case, how do you access tech app script is to go to tools and press script editor. So this will bring you to uh, a format that looks somewhat like this. So we can zoom in a little bit so that you can see a little bit better. Okay. So I've written a very, very simple function. So over here, I'm just going to name it my function and I didn't actually change it from the default format. So first thing first is to actually get the, the value. So here I'm using a different a slightly different API. So how do we actually enable that is to go to resources, advanced Google service, and actually enable your Google Sheets and Google Doc API, uh, specifically Google Sheets version 4 API, because this will be function slightly different from what we have did just now. So in this case, we're using a sheet API, getting a spreadsheet, value, get. So remember just now we had to open the file, get my ID, get spreadsheet and so on and so forth. So multiple steps just to get a range of data. So this is a lot faster where it will let you to key in the ID of the Google Sheets. So in this case, the Google Sheet will be up here in the URL bar. You just go to the strings behind D and go copy paste, go copy the whole string and I put it over here. And then you just put in the name of the sheet followed by the name of the range. So that's fairly straightforward. So after that, so this command will pull the range of data and pipe it in the variable called raw data. So that is your raw table, A17 to C20. So we can go back and verify A17 to D20. So C20. So in this case, we are not including the header because we do not want to generate report based on header. So start directly at the data. Okay, so the second one is a template ID. So what I mean by template ID is the Google documents that you use as a template. So similarly, go to URL bar, copy whatever in, is the string behind the slash D slash um, string, and then whatever is in the back, copy and paste it over here. So this will tell it what are the raw data I need to work with and what is the template ID that I need to work with. Okay, now we have to go into a for loop. So for loop for those that are not uh, familiar is it is it's just a looping file where first you run i equals to zero, run through the whole thing, and then run i equals to one because i plus plus, so i goes to one, run the whole thing again, and then i goes to two, run the whole thing again until i is smaller than 
raw data value length. So what do you mean by raw data dot value dot length is that the length of the raw data. So the number of rows. So in this case, we're going to run it one, two, three, four, four times. So zero equals to one. So zero, one, two, three. So we run the, run the for loop four times before it stops. Okay. So the, the for loop actually function very similarly to what we've done uh, previously, which is go to the drive app, which is a library. We get the file by ID and we tell the, the computer to grab the ID from this um, template that we have and then make the copy. So it's very essential to make a copy because you do not want to work on a template. Now we're creating a copy for our first customer. So I equals to zero, remember? Okay, so then we after we make the copy, uh, we pipe the whole information into a variable called new document. And then we tell the, the computer that we need the ID for the new uh, document that is created by this make copy command. So in this case, the get ID based on new doc, we actually create a new ID because now we're not looking at this file anymore. We're looking at a second file and then and then we actually, this is not that related. So this is actually create customer name. So uh, this actually just create another variable so that we pipe the, the name of the customer. So what this means by raw data dot value i dot zero is that remember first i is actually zero, zero, zero. So value and with this square bracket zero and square bracket zero, means that it's actually the first um, cell in the table, which is the first column and the first row. Remember, in this case, arrays start from zero and you know in Google Sheets start from one, slightly confusing. But remember, zero, zero means the first cell from the first row, sorry, the first column and the first row, and that is the cell that you are selecting, okay? So um, then once we got the customer name, in this case, it will be uh, Kodak. So when we get Kodak, we're just going to rename the file just now, the document ID, and set the name to report and customer. So everything is surrounded by the single code over here is just a string. So report string plus the customer variable. So in this case, it's going to be report dash Kodak. Okay, so once we change the name, it is ready for us to do the tax replacement. Okay, so how do we do a tax replacement? Is that first thing we have to get the body of the document. So what do you mean by the body of the document is just the text. Um, what is it called? The text array, not the text area. So if you look at uh, a document over here, you have a header and footer. Everything in the middle is actually just called the body. Okay, so understand it that way. Uh, if you want more information, I'll link you to one of the description down below where Google, Sheet, uh, Google app will actually break down how a document is being structured. So there's a very clear table that you can have a look. Okay, so once we've done the body, which is the paragraph, which is whatever in the middle, we do a replace text. So replace text, as the name suggests, replace the text. So the first one is the original template text you want to replace. I will replace by value i00. So we replace customer with the customer value as, as we see over here. They are the same um, command. So they point from 00, which is the name of the customer. And then here we are pointing to replace the quantity, which is raw data value i2. That 02 means row number one, um, column number three, because 0, 1, 2. Remember that. Okay, then we replace the order number by the value of one. So one actually means column two. In this case, column two. So it'd be Kodak, 452, and kg. And then what we do is that since i is still less than the value of length, we're gonna repeat the same cycle four times, each time creating a copy, change the name, and replace the text. So, well, just see it in action, shall we? So this is the folder where I want the things to happen. So if you don't specify anything, the, the script will generate the file in where the, the Google Sheet is being located because uh, it's just how it works basically. So because this Google app script is linked to the Google Sheet and actually it will link to the original folder. So everything that you created here will be generated in that Google Drive folder directly. Okay, so what we do, similarly, just choose the name of the function, which in this case is just called my function, and press run. 
So you can see that uh, it will actually generate a report directly. No, it, do we need to? No, it doesn't. Okay, sometimes it doesn't work. Let's check. Hello, everyone. So I'm back. So I realized the problem. The problem is that previously we have not uh, renamed the uh, functions and we create a new script uh, that have the same function name. So what happens is that when you choose my function, they don't know which one to run and they'll run the, then they actually run the, run the empty one just now, which is why it doesn't work. And in my test run, I do not have a new script, which is why my, my function works perfectly. So what I've, what, I've, what I've done here is to just uh, rename my function so that it's actually just called uh, create report. So by the time I press this button, I'll expect um, four more files created here. So actually, I don't have to do that, but never mind, you, you, you get the idea just now, and you will see the corrected version in the thing. Actually, let's just, let's just do it. Okay, so create, generate report, create report. So I have absolutely done nothing to the original file. I just deleted the function and renamed the function name and I just press run. So yeah, what I would expect here is to have four different files created. Yep. So you can see that it's first creating a copy of the original file and then rename it and rename the, 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 the customer quantity and the order number. So let's just cross check one of them. So Nikon 165 90 kilo. So Nikon, let's click in and let's check the customers. Nikon, correct. The odd number 165, and then it is indeed 90 kilo. So let's check another one, which is uh, Canon 112 25 kilo. So let's go to Canon, and you should have Canon 25 kilo 112. So that's basically how you actually being able to create the report within AppScript itself. Just remember to rename the functions when you do it so that you don't run into the embarrassing problem that I have. So what we done today, so today we just demonstrated how you can generate report uh, from Ascript using a template Google Doc and a, a table data inside the Google Sheets. So how to do that is that we're utilizing um, um, the Google Sheets and Google Doc API. So make sure you go to resource, advanced Google service and and turn on the API for Google Sheets and Google Doc over here before you are able to do that. So what you do is that you create a variable that stores the raw data, which is the standard raw template, uh, the, sorry, the raw input of the data. You create another variable to, to identify the template ID, which is the ID of a Google Doc. And then this for loop would actually make a copy of the original template, uh, rename the, the file, and then uh, do a do a text replacement on the newly created file. So this actually belongs here because it's part of the way that we we rename the file over there. So yeah, I think this looks better. So that's basically it for me for the Google Apps Script for lesson eight. So the next two lesson will be a practical case on how you can actually use a combination of Google Doc, Google Sheets as well as app script to actually use it in a practical real life scenario. So uh, there's also many other topics uh, in front. So if you're interested in such as uh, VLOOKUP, UNIQUE, FILTER, QUERY, COUNT IF, and so on. So for now, thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.